Read. Sifuna wimati ga Yohane chapter 1 verse 1. Eku kaleke ni ube eko ulizwi. Waye ulizwi eku uye utiko. Waye ulizwi eku utiko. Verse 2. Yena lowo eku ebe eko ebe kaleke ni kutiko. Izi nto zonke zaba konga aye. Enge eko yena agubanga konanye into ete ya bako. Verse 4. Kuye kwa kuko ubomi, baye ubomi obo bulu kanyise lo lwa bantu. Verse 14. Ulizwe waba inyama, washala paka tikwetu. Sabu bona ubukaka ulibake. Ubukaka ulikanye bowa kupela kwa mzeleyo uise. Ezele lubabalo na inyaniso. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I receive your word. I receive your word. Lisigalele. Bless it. Egamen Lengos. In the name of Jesus. I want to speak about humanity. Ntanda Ukteta Ngobuntu. Humanity. Ngobuntu. On verse number 14. Oh, verse number 14. It says. It. And the word became flesh. Lizi waba nyama. And dwelt among us. Washala pagati wetu. Humanity. Ubuntu. Other version says we saw the glory. Ezi nyingu kunelo zidi sibubu nile ukakauli bake. The word became flesh. Goba ulizi waba nyama. He became a human being. Waba ngumtu. God became a human being. Utiko wabangumtu. God. Utiko. He became waba a human gumtu. being. Like you. Jenga awe. Because you are a human being. Nawe njengwa gumtu. Say amen. Amen. So in our heritage day. Ngel teshage lemvela pietu. Everybody is proud of who he is. I am a pondo. I am a pondo. And I am original. You are who you are. And you are proud of who you are. You are proud of who you are. Everybody in South Africa is proud of who he is. So when we speak of heritage, we look back on things that we must remember. Some of the things are the old buildings. Things that speak a lot on history. Some other things are the belief. Some other things will be, one will be proud of uh, his background. So as you are proud of you as a closer person. But that is why I want to throw us back of what must we be proud of. We are human beings. Many people. They forgot who they are. They are the human beings. Things you met on the journey. Some have changed to forget who you are. That is why some other people are no longer behaving like human beings. Say amen. Say amen. amen. So a human being is what you must be proud of. It's what you must keep. You must never forget in life. 
so that you don't imitate another thing. You must keep your originality. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says, God said, let us make man. Let us make a human being. Let's make a human being Not an animal But let's make a man Not a dog Say amen, amen. Say amen, amen. Say amen. amen. Paul says Paulus, Before we go Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ. While he was God. But he took the likeness of a human being. He, he was God. But became like man. The Bible says Wabushi Yubuti He left his divinity and came to be a man. A human being. So we must study deeper. What happened to a human being? Because in our days, there are very few people who are human. People of our days, they, are, they have lost humanity. Humanity Ubuntu. is a very important thing. Even if you are not born again, but humanity. Ubuntu. So humanity, Ubuntu. it shows that you are living. Say amen. Amen. People of our days, because they are no longer humans, the devil came, Satan, he killed the conscience so that they will not be human beings. That is why people they can see painful things but they feel nothing. They can do painful things but they don't feel anything. Why? There is no humanity. Humanity Ubuntu that which says you are not an animal. You are a human being. You are better than any other creation. Before we go and accept Jesus. But the level of humanity. Is Because. Some of you are not born again. Some are born again. But they are not humans. Humanity is dead. Born again. And what will make people to live? First, they must come to be humans. You are a human being. Ungumtu. For us to overcome violence outside. For us to understand how to overcome the devil. We must understand that we are human beings. I have got blood. You have got blood. I've got flesh. You've got flesh. You feel painful things. And I can feel painful things. I've got compassion. You must have compassion. 
Why? You are a human being. So people, that is why there is too much murder. There is no genes of humanity. Families, they fight, they kill one another, they don't care how one feels that this is not an ox this is not a lamb. This is a human being. So a human being is like you and me. That's where we value first ourselves. That's where we overcome pride over the other person. Why there is too much pride is because, because the other one he thinks he's not a human being. So when you know that you are a human being and this is a human being there is no room for you to have pride. Amen. Even if we live together, even if we differ where we stay, but the level of humanity, it makes us to look one another in the same place. Some other people, it's hard even to greet other people as if he's greeting a dog. Where is humanity? So humanity Ubuntu. it lowers you to the right position yeah, with all other people. In humanity Ubuntu. we are all the same. Educated or not educated, the poor or not poor we are all humans. And Jesus, when he died, yes, he fun. died for humans wow, in that level. Oh, God. It is on our on your marks. God starts taking a person there. We look one another as humans. No one is better there. You see a human being. Even if he's on the street. Even if he's on Jobek. Even if he's driving a better car. You are walking. But we are all humans. That is why. If you go to the tomb there. Because people. They like to leave humanity. We all go to the grave. All people when they are dead, they are taken to a graveyard. Because you are a human being. There is no better graveyard. All of them are graveyard. The rich and the poor, the educated and the uneducated, they all take into the graveyard. Human being. So there is no reason for one to have pride over the other one. When you have a mind of humanity, God gives you grace. Why people don't have grace is because they forgot that they are humans. So humanity, the Bible says, the word became flesh. He dwelt among us. You are not going to stay with animals. You will stay with people. 
You will talk with people. That is why God has got better plans for all people. I want to pull you down. Maybe you have a pride. I want to pull you down. Come down a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. Some at work. At work. You see this person, eh? All of us here. We are all cleaners here. But because he is cleaning the computer. He thinks it's a better rubbish. Because all of us, we are cleaners there. So, guess your color. We are all cleaners. We are cleaners, all of us. So guess this is dark. We are all servants. So I think we stuck as no one is dark. There's no servants better than the other. Yo. That is why at work, if you are a manager, look the others in the same way as a human being. He's a human being. You are not in charge of animals. You are in charge of a human being. And Jesus yes. died for them. Even you who is serving there, who is submitting under the manager, you are submitting under a human being. Respect a human being. Don't fight him. Even you who is in charge, don't fight the one you are in charge of. Why? We are all humans. We are all human beings. So if God is so that humanity is so important and he decided to dwell among people who are you that you cannot stay with people? Who are you that you cannot stay with people? He came. This is God, the Alpha, the Omega, the Creator. He left the heavens. He came down. He came down. The Bible says, We were all useless. But God came down to stay with us. He was better. He was God. He was the creator. But he left. He came down. When you see someone greet him, greet a human being. And ask, how are you? Why? You are a human being. You are a human being. This is not an animal. Hear what he's going to say. Because the moment you pass him, and yet you know him, but it seems as if you don't know him, it means you are dead in humanity. So learn to be a human being. Learn to be a human being. God must give you a conscience. Why? You will be able to be used by God through compassion. That is why Jesus, he saw people and the Bible says they were harassed. The Bible says he was moved by compassion. 
So compassion in a human being will make you to cross limitations for you to rescue another human being. Otherwise, that is why some other people when they help another person they are like doing that person a favor. He is like you. Pain is the same. Pain is the same. When I was struggling in Deben some of you have never slept outside. I know to sleep outside. I know to sleep to eat the food left on the park. As long as it was left by a human being. It was left by a human being. I would go and eat. I had no food. I had no choice. God was there. I never ate the food of the pig. You know, you know, if you don't know suffering, if you don't know suffering, if you don't know when to be picked from the dust, you will never know where Jesus has taken you from. You have to know, that is why you must know Yes. What God has done in you. Because he has been using a human being. He's still going to use a human being. So love a human being. Be a human. We are living in times where humanity is no longer there. That is why there is too much death. A human being is killed by a human being. We stop it in the name of Jesus. We stop it in the name of Jesus. We stop it. People kill human beings. That is why many rape human beings. I'm speaking even to you on TV. Those who kill human beings. You are a human being. You are a human being. I know you desire to kill. You desire to murder. Stop it! Stop it! In the name of Jesus. Why? Even you, you are a human being. Why do you desire to kill? Why do you rape? Stop it! Why? You are a human being. You were not born by an animal. Another human gave birth to you. He gave birth. Even you took nine months in the stomach of another person. And the parent of that person has got good desires for this person. And now why do you kill him? The Bible says our struggle is not against flesh. In other words, don't kill me on the flesh. Take care of my flesh. That is why sometimes you give someone a present. You buy someone clothes. Why? Why? When the body is dressing nice, a human being is happy. A human being is beautiful. 
Such humanity Ubuntu. is important. Ubalega. That is why Lendo. we cover one another's nakedness. Why? We are humans. So this makes us to love one another. And no, I'm not speaking now of deeper salvation now. Yeah. I'm just speaking just generally. Because believers have entered in the spirit failing to look things just physically. That is why they are hidden behind but exposed outside. I have a duty to cover your disgrace. Cover my disgrace. Why? Hey. I'm a human being. And you are a human being. Hey. And it grows Yakuna. worse when we are of the same family. But people of today, About those of the same family, they don't feel humanity of close genes. Of close genes. Because livingness God will group you with the people of your gene. Those are people of your land. The people of your living. So a human being doesn't want to do wrong on people of those he lives with. You are called to defend those people. Let no one come in. Let no one tear your mother. Let no one tear your father. Let no one tear your sister. Why? We are in one. We are human. Close blood. One before Jesus comes, before we go to the blood of Jesus, just in your blood, then matter will stop. That is why, that is why, we as the born again people, we are called to, to build, to mend, to, to seal up, to fix the broken things. When they kill us, we don't kill them. When they insult us, we don't insult them. Why? Why? We have entered into a higher level of humanity. But the first level is that level where you are born with people who are not born again. They are your people. Though you are born again. Even if I can lay hand on you. But their blood will never be erased from you. 